Hello guys, this is Julia, and today I'm going to show you how to update the Windows 10 build. I don't know, I forgot what the build number is. I think it might be like 10156 or something. So, I don't know if it's going to be an official build or not, as the last thing I saw was not official. Well, it might have been another number. But, okay, first of all, you go to the start, like the Windows thing. And this is pretty much for all Windows 10 builds, so... Then you go to all apps. Now it might be a little different as I added that all apps feature in one of the builds recently released. And you scroll down and you find settings. Or you can type settings in this, I think. So you click on settings. And then you're going to go to update and security. And you're going to see Windows Update. But you're going to check for updates. Because it may not be there. In my case, it's not there. So I'm going to check for updates and see what shows up. To be honest, I feel like it's not existent because Windows didn't tweet anything today. But we're going to find out and see because I could be wrong. So pretty much if there is a build, I will upload this video. If there's not, there's no point. Until there is one, then I'll make another one. So I'm going to check for updates. And usually it's called something really bizarre. I forget what they call Oh, there it is! Ha! 10158, actually. I was two numbers off. Well, guys, you can see, I think that's the Windows 10 build right there. If I go to details and click on it, it actually doesn't say any, any details. It just says it twice. Okay. Well, it's waiting for install because it's installing this one first, the Windows Defender. I like how it has a list and tells you what's installing when you click on it. Um, so, we're just gonna wait and see what happens, so, right now it's preparing to install updates. It has to do all other updates before it does a, a whole preview build, so we have to wait until the Windows Defender installs, and then once it installs, we can install this one. So, yes guys, new build of Windows 10 today, it's preparing to install at the moment so get a picture of that it's preparing to install and once it's downloaded it will pop up a message saying you have to it'll be a while to install i think it says it'll be a while to install windows 10 preview i'm not sure what it says exactly but i think you hit install or restart or whatever and it will install the preview build which will take a while and you can't use it while it's installing at all you're gonna have to wait so when it does something I'm going to pause the video when it says it's gonna install see okay okay what well, go fast it's downloading right now so once it downloads which could be a few gigs so it could take a while to download I'm not sure how big this preview build is it doesn't say at all it doesn't say the file size it used to say the file size but not anymore so once this downloads which is downloading really slow because i think it was just released today once it downloads i will be back what it does next all right be right back all right guys it's 99 percent downloaded now 100 percent downloaded and you can see from the time difference how long it took to download but that kind of depends on your internet connection it took me i think about like 10 minutes to download it um we'll see now we're gonna see what it does after the download process so it's going to probably pop up a message to restart or something to install and then we'll restart and I'll show you what happens. Um, I I did watch a video about the new changes. I heard that the store is different. It's now no longer in beta. I also heard the Project Spartan is now named Edge and has a different icon and it's no longer Project Spartan. And that they actually got rid of the Insider Hub, but you can re-add it in settings somewhere. Um, but it, to be honest, it looks a lot. It looks really cool, and they've changed a few things in it. And also in the new Edge, you can actually change it to dark mode or light mode, which is kind of cool and interesting. Um, I was watching the video actually while this was downloading, so pretty cool. 
So now it's preparing to install updates, and this might take a while. And it's not updates, it's only one update. So I don't get why it says updates and then only has one. That's just hilarious. So looks like the update is preparing to install. So when that's done, I will record another video because it looks like it's going to take like five minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, it's 100% preparing to install updates, so it should be done very soon, and probably asking us to restart the computer, so that's why I'm recording the video now, so let's just wait and see what happens. I just want to show you, like, the whole process of doing this, because, you know, some people that don't have the Windows 10 preview want to know how it works, you know. Well, this is just for, like, the betas. I believe, actually, a long time ago, I was a beta tester of Windows 8, but I didn't even test it very long. I didn't really... It wouldn't work on my computer. Oh, checking for updates. Uh, is that supposed to happen? Oh, oh, oh never mind. Actually, that might have been an old build that said that. Because now it says a restart's been scheduled, so... There's no, there's, it, sa it still says it's available, but now it says a restart's been scheduled, so, um, hopefully this means it's gonna install, so let's just, so you can even schedule a time to install the update if you want, but I'm just gonna hit restart now, cause now's a good time, so, I'm gonna restart and we're gonna see what happens with this build, hopefully it will install, cause it still said it was available, so, well, maybe it's available. Up oh, configuring update for Windows 10. That's a new one. <laughs> I think they changed it in this build because the last build I don't think was like this at all. So this is new. So maybe it's gonna do this, and then once it does this, it's going to actually install it, and then hopefully we'll get some nice results. Now, I think Windows 10 looks really nice. It's going to be a lot of getting used to, but I'm definitely going to upgrade the day it comes out. I already have my upgrade reserved, so I can't wait to get it and see what happens. On my other computer, my other compact, I'm going to wait. Um, I Because also, I can't even get it on there. It hasn't asked because I haven't updated Windows yet. I'm trying to make those videos those uh, in Movie Maker, those phone scammers, since I can't do it in my computer, so. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get those videos up. I'm trying. It just takes a long time to import, like, hours and all the captions, so. Anyways, I'm going to pause the video when it does something other than this. Alright, so it's 100% configuring update for Windows 10. You know, it says update, so it's only one update, so it must be doing the build. Um, it's a hundred percent now. It only took a few minutes. It's, it's kind of lagging right now. I don't know why. So now it's restarting. And we should see something different when it's starting up. It should say like setting up or something. Something like that. I don't guarantee it's going to say exactly just that. But it's probably going to say something similar. Or, or applying update or something similar. I assume. I, I don't know exactly what it will say because, oh, never mind. Upgrading Windows, that's completely different. That is not what I thought it was going to say. Okay, I guess this is going to take a really long time. I like how it says sit back and relax. I think that's funny. So I guess we'll have to sit back and relax. So, um, anyways, just sit back and relax and wait for your update if you're updating. Um, I will pause the video though, and and have due to like this technology nowadays, you don't have to wait like me unless you actually have your computer updating. So I'm just gonna let the video magic happen, and I'm gonna pause the video when it's like 99 or 100 percent. So here we go. Bam! Right, guys, it's at 99 percent. I think it did restart because this was scrolled up when I came back from doing a few things. So, and there's a message up here, like that other message that shows up on VirtualBox. So, I believe it did restart after it either did one of these steps, either copy the files. I think when it installed that, it restarted to configure. You can notice it's upgrading. It's 100% now, and it's going to restart pretty soon. This installation took like an hour and a half, I think. Oh, it's doing something. Oh, it's logging in now. 
Yeah, it must have restarted, because I thought it was going to restart again, but, hmm, maybe not. Oh, now it says hi. Oh, this thing. Oh, it's still setting up, yeah. We, and, yeah, I already know what it's going to say. Ah, uh, this won't take long. <laughs> I like that. And then one time he was like, unfortunately, this is taking longer than usual. And I was like, what? <laughs> well, I wonder if it's going to do it on this video or not. Regardless if it does or not, you know, we'll see. I'm going to pause the video while it does this since I don't have much recording time left. So I'll be back because this may, may take a few minutes. All right, I'll be back. All right, it says taking care of a few things now. That's really funny. A few things, really? <laughs> well... It'll probably say something else after this. I'll be back with the next silly little thing they have to say. Now it says just a few more tweaks. Are you kidding me? I swear, Microsoft and their little silly names are really funny. So I'm sure there'll be some other silly little names. So I'm going to pause it and you'll see it. Or you'll either see the desktop, which I hope. So I'll be back in a second. Well, guys, it's installed. You can see it says, um, it said let's start. And then, now it says the builds. Let me see if I can make that bigger. It got rid of my wallpaper. I don't like that, because now I have to find it again. But, yep, it's installed, 10158. I don't know why they got rid of my background. That's not cool. It's like they reset my computer or something. Um, but, you can see that's, I think, Edge right there, I think. Um... And it looks like kind of like the Internet Explorer icon, just a little bit. And then the new store. Let's go to Edge and see what it looks like real quick. Yeah, guys, that's how to install the new build, or any other preview build for that matter. It's pretty much the same concept, you know. Go to Windows Update and check for updates and do what it tells you to do, and pretty much that's it. So you can see Microsoft Edge. Let's go to Google. Make it simple. And I think you can change the mode of if it's dark. So if I go here. How do you do it? To be honest, I do not know how to do it at this moment. I don't know how this works because... Hmm. I can't figure it out. Well... You guys can figure this out. I can't even figure out how to do it. But there's a way to do it. Somehow. I don't know how to do it, but it looks really cool. Well, I like that how it drops that down. That's really cool. Yeah, guys, a new build. It's really cool. And it's now called Microsoft Edge. And you can see you have tabs. You can switch back and forth. Um. The funny thing is when I ask it what browser it's using, it says Google Chrome. Um, before it said that, but let's see if it changed. Hopefully it won't say Google Chrome because it's n Oh my gosh! It says Google Chrome. I'm not using Chrome 42, whatever the heck that is. I've only heard of Chrome. I've never heard of Chrome 42. Wow, must be 42 versions of Chrome. Ha <laughs> ha! This is wrong. I don't know why it says that, but anyways, I I don't know how to work this, but I have. Let me try. Let me just change to a different picture. I like that one better. You got like the how it's kind of like the sea or whatever. Um. Anyways, though, um, a few more features just showing you. I noticed the icons. It's like showing up smaller. And look at a lot of my tiles disappeared from my thing. So I'm gonna have to reorganize this a little bit. Things have disappeared in here. There. I noticed the icon for that changed. The music icon's different. Why can't I move this? It's being really glitchy on my computer today, I feel like. It's not letting me move that icon, but anyways, yeah, the store is no longer beta, and it looks really nice. And there's a few new features in this build, but usually... After, I, oh my gosh, I don't have much time left. After you do a preview build, you should check Windows Update. Ooh, they put settings there. I like that. Always check and see if there's any more updates. I'm going to run out of time, so I may not finish the recording. But usually this is what you do, because there may be updates after the preview build. 
Uh oh, it says inside our build settings made attention. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. The video is about to stop, so there's the notifications. But thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye for now.